بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على المؤوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters this is session number ten for this Ramadan reminders and in this session be the light Allah I will be discussing an important matter which I think everyone should be waiting for I am sure hundred percent uh, most of us, if not all of us, you have been looking for something from uh, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have been rejected from time to time. You have been disappointed from time to time, from uh, sometimes from people who you never thought to be disappointed. Uh, so the solution to all of these uh, disappointment that you are receiving from others who happen to be the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to go back to somebody who has. And somebody who is looking for you to ask, SubhanAllah. And there is nobody who is like this except Allah. He has everything. And uh, his, uh, his pleasure and uh, his uh, treasure and his blessings and his bounties and whatever Allah SWT has, you know, has no end, you know. It has no end. The Prophet has said, if the first human being, and the last human being, and from the first human being until the last human being, are going to stay in one place. I can add to this hadith of the Prophet Let's say the angels, the first angels created by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and the last angel also created by Allah. I mean, from the first to the last, and the last and the first jinn, you know, from the first jinn to the last jinn. from the first animal to the last animal, from the first fish, you know, the sea animals to the last one from the first insects all the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they are to stand in one place and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala their need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them their need all of them and we will never reduce the uh, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will never reduce the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know the Prophet Allah said if there is anything you know that can be uh, yani, uh, seen as a decrease in the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just because he granted all of us what we need is just like when you go to an ocean or a sea and then you bring a needle you put it inside you bring it out to see that little tiny drop of water that is picked up by the needle so it's like the sea is the, the, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the risk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has and that which he gave all of us is just like that drop of water if you were to say that there is, a, there is a decrease in that which he has, it is just going to be like this, subhanAllah. So as such, if a Muslim remembers this, he will be questioning himself, what is he waiting for? Why do you waste your time with others who you receive nothing in most instances ex except rejection? And sometimes they will cause you to be depressed, disappointment from others. I'm not saying asking people, you know, looking for a need from people is haram. Islamically, no, it is not. But the best of all is to place your need to the one who has and who is always looking for you to ask and who is loving you and increasing his love upon you when you ask him. SubhanAllah. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is an ayah in the Quran which is the focus of my reminder today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي you call somebody, he run away. He switch off his phone. He go to his house, he tell his children he's not around. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if my slaves ask you about me, tell them fa'inni qarib. The companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam were reported to have said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, aqqarib rabbuna falunaji, am ba'idun falunadi. Our Lord, is He very close? Allah SWT, is He very close to us so that we can have munajah? Munajah means hadith sir. I mean, when you talk, you don't raise up your voice. Or He is too far from us, and as such, we have to raise up our, vo our voice when we call upon Him. Allah SWT told them, وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعُوا تَدْعِي إِذَا دَعَانٌ فَلِسَّجِبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشِدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whenever somebody asks you about me, tell him I'm very close to them. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمُ الْعُونِ أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ And he says, tell them to ask me, I will definitely 
answer their invocation. As long as they are not going beyond limit and they are not doing the wrong thing, the Prophet وسلم, asked them not to do it when they invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be it in light Allah, they will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responding to their calls. He says, The one who call upon me, I definitely accept and I answer his call. Allah Subhanahu said, let them look for my acceptance uh, and my reply. You know, Allah Subhanahu wa said, let them believe in me. You know, while you are making dua, you should have a strong faith and, tr- and iman and yaqeen that be in Allah Ta'ala, your dua will be granted. So that they will be guided. So this is an act of worship that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala loves. And my dear brothers and sisters, as Umar used to say that I don't worry about the acceptance. I worry so much about being granted the tawfiq to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So dear brothers and sisters, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the tawfiq to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be ibn Allah ta'ala, you will be counted as those people who succeed in this life. Allah doesn't disappoint his people. Allah doesn't disappoint his creation. Those people who go back to him, that is no disappointment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not embarrass them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah feels shy of one of you when he raises up his hand, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something. Allah will not let you bring your hand down without granting you one of the followings. Either Allah give you a need, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will delay to the better time for you than what you're looking for, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace it with forgiveness of your sin, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace it with removal of the calamity you know, from your life, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace it with Jannah. There is no failure in the dua when you are making it as long as you do it according to the sunnah of the Prophet So let's uh, participate in this dua. This is the month of the dua. There's an opportunity granted to all of us. Stretch your hand, raise up your hand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at night. Make sure that you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all your need. Be it in light ta'ala, you'll be granted your need. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.